Right, hello and welcome to the video. If you're new here, my name is Nick. I am a reseller. I sell stuff on the internet. Um, you can see it around me, all of this stuff, mostly secondhand items. I buy and I sell them on the internet, mostly eBay, but also Amazon. And I try and sell them for profit. That's how I earn a living. And in this video, I want to talk about how to use eBay to work out the value or get an idea of the value of your item. This can be really useful for two reasons. One, when you're coming to buy an item, if you're thinking of buying an item to sell for profit, if you don't already have an idea of its likely value when you come to sell it, you're really going to struggle to work out how much it's worth paying for that item. So using eBay and the tools within eBay to work out the potential value of an item is really useful when you're buying. And then, of course, when you come to sell an item, as long as you're selling it using a fixed price, which is predominantly what I do, if you're selling on auction, that's another matter. We're talking about setting a fixed price here. And that's when using eBay as a tool to work out the potential value of your items really comes into its own. We're also going to look a little bit about using eBay to judge the demand of an item, which can be really important. Is it an item that's really popular and is likely to sell fast? Is it really in demand? Do you have to be really competitive price wise? Are there loads available and not many selling? In which case you might have to price keenly to get it shifted. So we're going to take a look at all of that. So I've picked out a bunch of stuff um, that I am listing currently or about to list. And I thought I'd show you my process. It may vary from yours. I'd be interested to know. So what I'm going to do is go into eBay and share eBay on the screen. And we'll take a look and we'll see how I do things. And maybe it will differ from what you do. And if you're new to eBay, this could be really useful because a lot of people that find our channel are brand new to eBay and they don't even know this function exists. So I will screen share. Let me just set up an eBay page. Hold on one second. OK. Right. So let's screen share. Come on. Why is that not working? Once it works, you will be seeing within eBay. So this is an eBay homepage. Um, actually, <laughs> let me just come out for a second. I'll show you quickly the items that we're going to look up so you get an idea before we start. So I think I'm going to start with this. I picked this up at the weekend. Yamaha keyboard. Now with this, it will have a model number on, which is really, really useful for looking up things because you can use a model number. Some things you can use barcodes and then you hone in exactly on that product. Um, I think, yeah, this has got a model number on which we'll use. So we'll start with that. And then I've got some Lego, a board game, um, CD, uh, an action figure and a computer console, a bit of a variety and we'll see how we get on with those. So let me go back into screen share. We'll start with the organ. OK, so now you should be back in this eBay homepage. So it is a Yamaha. If I spell it right. That would help. Let me just see what that model number is again. It's a PSS. 680. PSS680. So if we punch that in there, a normal search will bring up active listings. Now, this is useful as well because it will give you an idea of how many are currently available. So it is worth looking. So there's two, and then we're on to different models. These are results matching fewer, fewer words. So it's not that common. One there listed at 85. Uh, one there listed at 50. So that gives you an idea of your current competition. And then let me zoom in a little bit so it's easier for you to see. Come on. So down the uh, left hand side here, if you scroll down, you will find completed listings and sold listings. So if you highlight completed, this will show you the last three months worth of results um, 
that looked like the one that's currently listed. So they've been, that's been going, being relisted basically uh, on auction and hasn't had bids. Um, so these are completed and we've got 17, the number at the top here. So we've got 17 completed and that also includes these adapters. We can ignore those. So let's have a look. That's the same one again that didn't get bids. This one sold on buy it now at 45 with 15 postage. One here at 35. Uh, one here with a box at 60. One here, no box with 60. They achieved uh, plus postage. Um, box one again, 65. So again, it's always going to be a bit, you can only ever really use your own opinion on what you're going to achieve. Uh, you could go for the highest end, which I tend to start at. So I'd probably shoot for 60 on mine. I don't have a box. Uh, it's in full working condition and it has the mains lead. Uh, so here's another loose one at 56 plus shipping. Um, it's worth when you do your research at this point to compare like for like. So some of these may not have the mains lead. Some of these may have condition issues. Yours may have condition issues. So be realistic at this point. One there went for 49 with shipping. So I think what I would do, judging from these prices, is probably go around the 50 to 60 pound mark, I would guess. Probably started at 60, see what interest I get, and then come down. So that gives you an idea. You can see the variety of prices. Some of these lower ones, that was on bids. Look, 17 bids ended at 37. Um, they put it on buy it now, but they, they chose to go what I think is quite low. Um, they took an offer on that. There is a way of finding out what offer they took. That's in another video. I'll link that below if you don't know how to do that, uh, that other video. So that's what I do. Um, at this point, that's all of the completed. Uh, we said 17, didn't we? You can then refine it by sold, but there aren't many. This isn't a, a really prevalent item. Uh, so that number doesn't change much, look. There's demand for this, 17 listed, 14 sold, and that does include these little power packs, which you can ignore because they're irrelevant for what we're looking at. So there you go. And remember, the first search we did was active listings, and there was only a couple available. So I think I will be able to achieve 60 on that. I will certainly give it a go. So that's the keyboard. Uh, next we'll try a little Lego set. It's a friend set. It does have its box. Uh, I haven't had a moment to check if it's complete. We will assume it is for the purposes of this video. So I'm putting in the, um, I could have just put Lego in there. It would have brought up the same uh, results. All Lego sets have a set number, which is what I punched in there. It's a quick and easy way of finding completed um so we are now in are we in completed or sold we're in sold so if we go to completed first again we've got 49 results and then if we instantly switch that to sold so out of 49 that were listed in the last three months 43 have sold so that instantly tells you it's a popular item Okay, we can also filter this. You see the top one here is new and this one is pre-owned. We want to look at used or pre-owned. So if you scroll down here, you can highlight the condition. So we're going to focus in just on used. So one, this was sold on bids. Again, not how I would choose to do it. And they sold it for $6.49. Um, that's next one is irrelevant. There's two sets there. Again on bid 650. Um, that's got an extra set with it. Okay, so this is similar to mine. It's boxed, it's been opened, it's used. Uh, again on auction though, but they got nine pounds plus three pounds twenty. Um, that's the same set there without a box on bids three pounds twenty. 
buy it now seven without the box plus postage so just under 10 pounds there there's one in a box 10 pounds on bids they started at 10 plus the shipping so it looks like I probably struggle to achieve there's another one that boxed that again was on bids uh, they got 10 plus 290 See if there's anything higher. There's one they chose to go buy it now. Set their price at thirteen ninety nine with four pound shipping and achieved it. I think what I would choose to do with mine, um, if it is complete, like I say, I haven't checked it. We'll assume it is. I'd probably go twelve ninety nine plus shipping. Um, there's an interesting one. So it's it's so random eBay. We saw some on bids at the top going really cheap. This one climbed to sixteen plus postage but it's a lottery doing it on bids there's another one eight pounds eight pound sixty nearly half the price it's just madness um as i said before you're gonna have to make a decision and a judgment based on what you think you can achieve all this does is give you the information on of what others have done um but it is really really useful i don't think going any much higher than about 12 pounds is going to be fruitful i think i would sell it and sell it fairly quick at 12 pounds there's one that they stuck it on at 10 with shipping um so yeah if it was me and it is i would deduct from that 12 plus shipping is about right but you can see it's it's all about a judgment call really there's no hard and fast information there's no right and wrong but using the tools that are available to you you can get some idea so the next one is a CD audiobook. It's a Harry Potter. If I can highlight all of that. Now this is barcoded. I have a USB barcode scanner plugged in, so I can scan that barcode. I have um, what you would call the long box version, like that. Top. Why that picture is out of focus, I have no idea. Uh, so that's the version I've got, the tall thin box version. They did buy it now, seven seventy three. That's We Buy Books, one of the big. Uh, booksellers uh, or media sellers uh, that's a different version the CD square box type let's find the same one that's the same one so they've gone on auction 10 pounds plus four pounds shipping it's quite pricey because that will go as a large letter actually um, I think when I bought it I was thinking about 12 pounds let's quickly see if I take off if you uncheck sold you'll go to active and we'll see the same version so there's somebody who's got it on buy it now at 35 I think we can dismiss that they've got it on at 22 so my condition like for like you can see is people that are probably you know chance in their arm but that's fine you know they want to sit and wait that's one way of playing this game I would probably go twelve ninety nine free shipping. I might even push push it to fifteen because for this exact version, which is this one here, my only competition currently is quite high. So it's worth looking at active to work out at this current moment in time what the competition is. So looking at that, I'd probably try fifteen. I might even push it a little bit further. So that's the Harry Potter. Um, then in the Harry Potter vein, I have. Um, let me just come out of screen share and I'll show you this. I've never had this before. Uh, I picked it up a while back. I think I shared it in a haul video. It's really cool. It's Harry Potter Adventures Through Hogwarts Electronic 3D Game that's what it looks like when you set it up i really thought this would be worth loads I, I did look it up at the time and i can't remember what i found out but it wasn't as great as i imagined um so we'll find out now because i'm coming around to listing this so i need to get an idea of as i was just saying current competition on ebay and then go into completed and see what other people have achieved see what the market is telling me this is likely to achieve and we'll make some judgments from there. So if I go back in to eBay, we'll take a little search. 
So I won't use the barcode on this. You could do, I could search on the barcode, but we will do Harry Potter adventures through Hogwarts like so. Okay, so we are currently in active. So active we have uh, buy it now of 20. Um, that's two exactly the same. Oh, that's a sponsored version of the same item below. So that is one item. It's just showing up in the search results twice because they're paying for promoted there. Um, 20 pound free shipping again. Somebody's selling spares. 18.99 free shipping, 15 pounds plus shipping. So that's basically the same as the 20 pounds free. Uh, spares again. So people are trying to achieve 20. There's somebody trying to get 30, 35, 20 plus shipping. Okay, so current competition. Uh, the cheapest is around 20. So if we now switch over to solds, well, actually, let's go um, completed first and see how many results we got for the last three months. 34. And out of those, how many sold? 15. So there's some demand. It's pretty good by the look of it. I think it will sell what it's likely to sell for. We'll have a look. So somebody did get 20 plus shipping there. Um, eight pounds. Now at this point, it is interesting to go in. Let's have a look at this one. <coughs> now they sold on bids, um, which again, it's not how I to choose to do things. You uh, leave yourself open to underselling a lot of stuff. Uh, I just wanted to see if that is complete. Um, one gold galleon coin missing, otherwise everything is there. So almost complete, but it is missing a part. Um, and they, that's sold for its maiden bid of £8. Um, so £8.80 on bids, 25 plus shipping, £10 on bids, 25 again, buy it now. So you can see the contrast between buy it now and auctions right here. Um, it's why I, I still advocate buy it now. Um, yes, you sometimes do have to wait to achieve these prices. There's no denying that, but sometimes the difference is, is huge. So 25, 25, 350. So let's assume mine is complete. We'll go with the assumption that mine is complete. I would probably shoot for the, the higher end of this uh, and go for the 25, I would think. There's a new one there, 45. So yeah, let me know below um, how you make your judgments based on completed, or do you ignore it completely and just go with your gut on things? I like to see what my competition is and, and what people have achieved and what is likely to be achievable. Um, you can up your chances of selling things, of course, by promoting your item, by adding international shipping and other things. Um, but I think on that, I would shoot for 25. Um, so let me just come out again. I'll show you this uh, Marvel figure. Again, that I picked up at the weekend. I picked up three figures at the weekend. I paid a fiver for the three. This is perhaps the most impressive. He's a Hulk. I think he's maybe bigger than 12. He looks, looks taller than a foot. 14 inches. Now, this might be, might be tricky to look up. Um, the height, usually with action figures, people will put the height in so you can use that. So, obviously, I'm going to search Hulk figure 14. If it has a date on it, uh, that can help refine the search. Oh. Usually they will have a date on the sole of their foot, sometimes on the back of the leg. You can hear him. He's a he's a talking. Oh, talking would be a good keyword. 
So we'll use some of the. I can't see a date anywhere on him. Oh, unless it's on the back of the battery cover. No. No. So, um, it does say Disney Marvel there. It's fairly modern, I think. So we'll see. Uh, using those keywords, I should be able to refine it and find this exact action figure. With action figures, if you sold many, you'll know there are so many hundreds of different ones available for each character. And sometimes finding the exact one you've got can be a bit of a task. Um, so we'll go back in and have a look. So if I go Hulk uh, 14 for 14 inch talking, I reckon we'll find it. Oh, I've got to put screen share on. Um, mm -hmm. Right, so we should be back in eBay. So I'll just do this one, and then the last one we'll do is uh, a Nintendo GameCube and see how we uh, see what we find on that. So if we just look up Hulk figure 14, and I'm going to put talking. And so I think we're on completed. So let's quickly look at current competition. It looks like it's bringing up. Yeah, that's the same figure. There you can see, look, people put 14 inch talking. Um, so current competition, currently active, we've got 13.99 plus shipping, 25 free shipping on buy it now, 20 pound free on buy it now. Uh, that one's irrelevant, there's two. Uh, 25.90 plus shipping. So current competition, uh, the cheapest is 20 pound free. No, it's not, sorry, it's that one. So cheapest currently is 14 plus shipping. So let's see what people have actually achieved. We'll go into completed. So let's see how many come up. 10 come up. Out of those 10, if we change that to solds, nine. So these are selling. These are popular. I won't have any trouble shifting this. Let's see where we would likely gauge it. So the top one went for 10.99 plus shipping. They got 24.47 and free. Uh, 11 pounds plus three, 15 plus four. At this point as well, if you see some that have achieved considerably more, have a look at the listing. See what keywords they had in their title that maybe helped. Um, was it their pictures? Was it the way they described it? Um, have a look, get tips from other listings. You know that all this information is there to help you. Um, so 12 pounds plus shipping, 12, 15. So gauging from that, I would probably shoot around the 20 pound mark, I think. Put international on it um, and see how I go. What would you do? Uh, that one was 15 plus four is 19. I think I'll go £20 all in. I could even shoot for the max that this person got, which is 25 free. But I don't know, 20 feels right. And again, it's all, it's down to you at the end of the day. There's no right and wrong. I'm just sharing kind of my thought process. I'll be interested to know uh, how you guys do this or if you have a completely different method. So the last thing I have is I will, do I need to come out? Let's come out one more time. So I picked up again. No, this wasn't at the weekend. I've had this a while. I'm sorting out a load of consoles at the moment. I just made a video of talking about testing consoles for selling on. Um, and I have a GameCube. I love the GameCube. I love Nintendo full stop. It has its original pad. So when we look at completed need to compare like for like. So original Nintendo pad, it has its original power lead and wires, uh, and it is the purple version. Again, that will make a difference. Uh, there are several different colors. There's a silver, there's even an orange, I believe, um, and a black. So we have the purple. It's tested, it's working, needs a bit of a clean. So let's see the range of prices that people have achieved on this and we'll judge from that 
what sort of price I think I can get for it. So let's go back into eBay and we'll do this last one. So if we do GameCube console, if I put purple in here, that will refine it a bit more. GameCube console purple, that's probably all I need. Okay, right, am I screen sharing? Yes, I am. So we are currently on sold. So let's have a quick look at current competition. Again, I find this really useful. Uh, we've got £40 plus shipping. That has two memory cards by the look of the picture. Oh, there's an invisible one. That's a rarity. Look, that invisible <laughs> GameCube there for 25 um, okay, so we've got a purple there with a, it's got a black controller. Not that that makes a great deal of difference. They're going for 40. Um, there's one that's similar, but that has two pads. Uh, it's on bids and it's got bids already, so that's going to sell. It's currently on 41. Uh, just the console. Um, no wires, no pad, 15. So competition there's a lot going on bids there's not so many buy it nows here there's a buy it now but that's with extras yeah it's a bit ambiguous let's go into completed see what sort of numbers we're looking at 274 out of that 274 how many have sold? 252. So you can tell from that, these things sell. The demand for GameCubes is huge these days. There was a period back when we had our gaming shop that I couldn't sell these things. I stopped buying them in. They were just, nobody wanted them. Because um, everyone upgraded to the Wii, and if you had one of these, you could play your GameCube games on your Wii. Everyone just got rid of the cubes, uh, and they lost their value dramatically. Anyway, so let's find a like for like. Uh, looks like there's no pad. There's one with a pad, but it has a game. Okay, that looks similar. So they, that's on bids, though. 28. That's very similar. 45 plus shipping. It does have a, a random disc with it. Um, similar there. 23. I reckon I could probably push for more than that. To find another similar lot. So we're looking for the queue with pad and leads. Uh, there's one box, but that went on bid. See, I think they've undersold that. I wouldn't accept that for it. Oh, just finding a similar lot is proving difficult. No. <laughs> Well, before I looked this up, I was thinking uh, maybe about 40. Okay, there we go. So that's purple cube, purple pad, um, fully tested official wires, 45 and free. Okay, that feels about right. Um, that one's on bids. Uh, let's find, buy it now for the full setup. There we go. 38 plus shipping works out about 45. Um, that one's on bids again. See, the ones on bids are still coming in lower most of the time. Um, bids again. Console only, 25. They did pretty well there. Not finding many similar ones. That's similar, but it has 1080 snowboarding. See, I reckon judging on this with the convenience of buy it now, I would push for at least 40, probably I'd go 45. Um, 45 free shipping, what do you reckon? Again, it's it's up to you. It's, it's your item and you have to use this information and judge from that. Um, there's a setup. They they chose to go 35, so I reckon you'd get you could get more than that fairly easily. Um, 
there's a good example. Okay, see, look, 45 plus shipping for exactly what I've got. So that would be, I'd probably still go 45 free. I think that would get it shifted that bit quicker. But yeah, there's a whole range of prices, um, which is normal. As you've just seen, something doesn't have a fixed value, certainly not on eBay. You can only ever use it as a guide, and then from there you have to make your own decision. I'm going to go 45 and free shipping on that cube. Um, I'm probably going to go, what did we say? I'm going to forget all the numbers now. 20 on him. I think I'm going to go 60 on the keyboard. Um, I'm going to try 15 free shipping on that. I think this will go as a large letter. Yeah, in a jiffy bag. That's going to be fine. Super useful, these. Um, yeah, so there you go. Anyway, I hope, I know if you've been doing eBay for a long time, you'll know all of this, hopefully. And this will be like teaching you the suck eggs. But for people who are new to eBay, some people don't even realize you can look up what's already sold and use that information to value your items. So I hope that was useful for somebody out there. Drop me a message below. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you do things differently. If you would price those items higher or lower, I would be interested. All I'm doing is sharing my sort of take on this, how I do things. I'm well aware people choose to do things very differently from me, I'm sure. Um, so there we go. That's my take on it. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, but you're interested in learning about selling on the internet, eBay and also Amazon, uh, please subscribe. We put out two or three videos a week sharing our whole process. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.